Welcome to the interior, inside, whatever, of the Invincible. Now, this is, now Yuna is going to explain you this whole airship, because this airship is not just the airship you fly around with. You can also enter this ship and take a look around and stuff. Well, these are stairways to so the surface if you want to if you want to leave. And this actually will be in the air all the time. And to board back in, you just gotta stand in the shadow and then get back in. Now that's how we fly over high mountains. But first, you said highest mountains, not just as high mountains. But it's still not gonna fly over mountains. You're just gonna fly on these little rock things. Whatever. Now, as you see, we gotta press A, and then we can fly over there. It's very, very slow, so yeah. Now, if you press B while flying, you just can can go back to the inside and do some stuff, and then leave the ship if you wanna. And just go back to flying if you want to. Now, some other stuff around here. Now, that's the interesting thing. There's shops in here. Because it's uh, it's not like these like super duper shops. It's like some magical machines you put Jill in and then you get stuff out and stuff. And yeah, there's a fat chocobo. So if you have not encountered the fat chocobo uh, before at one of the chocobo gardens, I just use a gargle greens on the tree. You get you get your own one now, so you can always carry a fat chocobo around with you. Which we don't really need because no one in this Tyro will ever need to because it's so useless. Whatever. He's also going to go now. We have to go to the cave which has no famer and recall the fang of earth and it's a good thing I know where that is. After that we get to Dogus Manor. And you know what that actually means? Actually, means we're close to the very end of this game. Actually, it sounds like our adventure has started, but no, it's already coming to an end. But it's still gonna take like 10 more episodes or like 20 because the very last dungeon is like so damn long. Like, oh my god! So uh, the last dungeon itself will like take like 15 episodes or whatever. But whatever. Also, that's the optional stuff. Will also take like five more episodes, and to just get to the end, will also take like ten more episodes. So five. I don't know. I don't know how fast I can do this. Well, let's just get some stuff. Can get all the level seven spells, which we already have, so it's pretty useless. Let's see what kind of weapons we can get. Arrows, knife, axe, lance. Useless! Woo! Yeah, if you have a thief, you might want to get that knife, but else, no. And as you see, these ones also just like sell the stuff that we already have. Also useless! And you just some supplies, but no others, right? Yep, no others. Also useless! So the shops are very, very useless. Uh, I don't need the room belt, Jacker band, and the black belt G or the Kaiser knuckles. I got some money back for selling that crap and that round. Whatever. So the items, and we're heading back to the world map in a sec. So there's a fat chuck over there. Actually, there's nothing else, but some uh, one more thing that's very important. You can take a rest here, and it's like going to the inn. It doesn't cost you, and there's a moogle around here, which is pretty useful because I don't need like all that stuff. Because as you see, it's just like communication and friend codes and like the Wi-Fi stuff, which we obviously don't need. Let's go to the world map by using the steering wheel. And welcome aboard. And in the year of our new ship, the Invincible. Looks 
pretty neat, wasn't it? Now, I also know that uh, that we got two airships right now, and this one is slow as hell. Um, I actually told you that the airship would like come out of the earth. That was like right, but I thought it would come out of the earth like in that swampy area up there where we couldn't land. That was wrong. I don't know. If, uh, look at the bottom of the ship. There also like these uh, rotor things on the bottom of it, which means that we cannot possibly land. I even had to stand from under stuff from underwater there. And with land, I just mean like have the ship go to the ground. Because of course we can land and go outside, but not really land with the ship. Okay, now this is where we have to go. Now see this, these little, these little tiny, tiny little mountain areas. We can get across them. As you see, it's very slow. It's just standing right in front of them. Press A and you get a get a top. Whoops. This whole thing is like a maze, which is very annoying. But actually, that was not the thing. I was. Uh, I want to do some el something else. Before I go on, I can't do that. To really get used to this slow speed and all that, I think I'll do it pretty much. Pretty, pretty much often. Also, some dead ants near, like that one down there. Well, now, when we want to go, we want to get our old ship back. Because there's some underwater cave that I want to explore. So, we have to. Of course, get a submarine back. Now, also think that we get like um, another ship in the very end of the game. It's like I think it's like a red racing ship, which is very fast, something like that. I remember. Don't mark my words on there. Okay, there's a ship. Now we're gonna like let her let it gonna stay there and take another ship and. And when I get this ship back, we just have to fly back here and board the board it again. Now let's save first, and then let's head to that um, underwater cave. Want to go now? And and uh, to get to the like underwater cave thing. I have to get to that little tiny island there, which is the very far southeast corner. It's all the way over here. And then we should be able to find, like, look at that, like a perfect triangle island. Doesn't look like it's natural formed, naturally formed, whatever. And in we go to the underwater cave. Which is called the Sunken Cave. Now I remember that the enemies near uh, gave me quite some experience, but when I fought them I was like 5 levels lower or 7 or stuff like that. So I don't know if they still like give me a lot of experience. I don't know if they even are like still strong. So I think you can actually just actually like supposed to go to this place when you get first get your submarine it was like level 30 or 20. 29, which one was it? Yeah, I thought I loved 29, it's like that. So I'm a bit over leveled for this place, but it just makes it easier. Because the end of the uh, this dungeon is like pretty long. And at the end of this is a bo is an optional boss fight. And if I fail at it, it would be very, very embarrassing. And I have to do this whole, whole huge place again, which would be very stupid. So I really want to be safe. Also, there are a lot of items to get in here. Second. So let's have a look out for them. Um, yeah, I think there's like some treasure in this place. Like there's a checker room, which is for your thief, a throwing weapon. Now you have your boomerang and give him the check room. You actually don't have any thief. Uh, if you give him the check room, you can throw it, and together with the boomerang, you, you got two throwing weapons, so you can just put him in the back row, and you're still gonna do max damage. And here we have tiger claws, which could be actually better than these uh, wind uh, uh, 
damage dealing one the environment claws and they are which brings our attack even higher it already is high as hell Not a fight oh the mermaids whatever what are they sea witch of course it can be just like this friendly mermaids not as sea witches I should actually take care of all of them because they know that fast but as you see the bad thing is ice is like their domain so that was one very very intelligent attacking them with ice there but I had to try that out 